Hello everyone. Welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh and uh, we are back with another scenario related to flow builder series, okay? So in the previous video we have talked about how we can create or how we can copy account team to the opportunity team. In this video or the scenario that we are going to take here is we need to create opportunity contact role under each opportunity whenever the opportunity is created under account under an account as well as there is a checkbox field called contact role needed if this is a check what we will do is we will find the contact related all the uh, the account related all the contacts and then we will associate those contacts as a contact role under the opportunity and the object name is opportunity contact role basically this is the junction object between the opportunity and the contact uh, before we go ahead Please do like, share, subscribe the channel as I have seen that uh, there are multiple people who are watching the channel or uh, watching the videos without subscribing. So please do that. Uh, that also gives us the motivation to keep uh, building the videos. Now let's quickly see how we can do this. First we will quickly talk about uh, the opportunity contact role. What exactly opportunity contact role is and then we will talk about uh, how to implement this using flow. So opportunity contact role as its name indicates right it is a junction object between opportunity and a contact and it is needed whenever you have an opportunity and you want multiple people to be associated with that deal when we talk about multiple people for example there is a company called salesforce or there is a company called techfuse india private limited okay so that this is a company and then you have multiple contacts over here like multiple people so that people one and people two right these are the people that you have and then these all people are taking a place to a, to a to an opportunity called salesforce consulting services you are reaching out to them to provide the opportunity salesforce consulting services and for techfuse right for this company these all people are the responsible for accepting or we say that accepting your proposal or not so what you have to do is whenever an opportunity is created named salesforce consulting under this company under this account you need to associate all these three uh, contact as a contact role so that you can make sure these contacts are also as a part of deals and they are aware about how the deals is going on and how you are signing off the deals and what are all the products and what are all the terms will be there under that deal okay this is the high level information about the contact role and there is nothing rocket science you just need to go ahead and edit the opportunity phase layout to get that related list under your opportunity record now to just to give you an overall idea how we are going to implement this suppose that this is your opportunity and this is your account okay this account has different persons say that p1 p2 and p3 okay so whenever an opportunity is created under that account and this checkbox is checked what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and copy all these uh, all these contacts to the r1 r2 and r3 so this is how you are going to implement in your flow so how you will you are going to do that now how you are going to implement that this is your record is created okay this is your opportunity now what you will you will do is you will put an if condition over here you will say if the checkbox is checked if that is the case what you will do is you will put a so called query on the contact records related to that account and once you have got that so called query what you will do is you will have a loop iteration over here prepare the contact roles which are cr and then at the end what you will do is you will insert those contact roles so this is the high level thing that we are going to do as a part of our uh, flow discussion okay a flow implementation so now what we will do is we will just quickly go ahead to our salesforce environment and then start developing these so first thing that we will do is we will create a new field on the opportunity as discussed there will be a new field so we will come back to the object manager and search for our object which is opportunity so the field we are going to create is which is going to be contact role needed or we can say that opportunity contact role needed anything you can just give this but this should be the type of checkbox because this is a checkbox field so that user can say okay the contact roles are needed by default it will be unchecked we are not going to check that and then uh, let's quickly go ahead and click on next make sure that it is visible to the correct profiles and correct permission sets and then add these to the opportunity page layout so that we can have those uh, under the page layout now we have got this field so what we will do is 
as discussed we are going to create a flow now what kind of flow we are going to create again as we need to work whenever an opportunity is created as soon as the opportunity is created so we will work with record triggered flow so we'll just go ahead and click on new flow select record triggered flow click on next whatever the layout you want to select you can select which object you want you want the opportunity object so select opportunity so what are the conditions over here first condition is account id shouldn't be null because that is the one thing opportunity must be associated with an uh, with the account and then there is one checkbox field which says that contact role needed equals to true because if that field is not true we are not going to perform any kind of uh, logic inside our flow and to this trigger one what you need to have is you need to say okay record is created and after record is saved that is true now what is the first thing that we have talked about is we are going to have the SQL query on the contacts related to that account so just click on add element and find your get records over here so i will say here SQL contact records so i have given the name over here say that SQL contact record and the api name is get record contacts object is going to be my contact because that is our object and then what is going to be there filter for account id equals to record dot account id and then how many records you wanted to store we want to store all the records go ahead click on done this is the SQL query that we have got over here that we have got like all the contact records next thing that we need to do is like the previous video as we have to insert multiple opportunity contacts so opportunity contact roles so we must need to have a list where we can store all those contact roles just go ahead and click on variable and then here we will say that where opportunity contact roles opportunity contact role list the data type it is going to be object i'm sorry record it will allow multiple uh, values and click on done okay uh, the object we have to select so we'll select contact role which is going to be opportunity contact role and click on done now for every contact we need to prepare one contact role so what we have to do is we have to have one variable which is for the contact role so what we will do is again we will create a variable and this time it will be variable opportunity contact role and then object uh, the data type is going to be record it will not accept multiple values and our object is going to be opportunity contact role okay so we have got the variables one variable is going to prepare the opportunity contact role another variable is going to store that opportunity contact role which you have prepared inside the list now what we will do is like previous video we will run a loop here so we'll go ahead click on add icon and then say here it is going to be loop so what is going to be loop loop through all the contacts so this is our api name uh, like label which is loop through all the contacts api name is contact record collection variable is whatever we have get all the contacts okay and uh, either it is going to be from first item to last item or it is going to be from last item to first item okay click on done now as we talked in the previous video for loop always works like this so first what we will do is we will prepare our opportunity contact role and then second what we will do is we will add that contact role to the list so to do that click on this plus icon and select assignment you can give the uh, label as uh, prepare opportunity contact role and for variables what you will do is you will say okay you've got variable opportunity contact role this is your single record that is what you need to uh, prepare for each contact so just go ahead and say what first thing you need to do is you need to give the contact id so you will give contact id it is going to be the contact id from your loop so it is like that current item so you say that contact record dot id and then it is also going to have the opportunity id so you will say that variable contact role dot opportunity id because opportunity and contact combination is going to create the contact role and then there is one more value which you need to have is and what value is there if you go to your opportunity record and under that opportunity if you try to create any uh, kind of opportunity contact role if you have in the related list so i don't have in the related list i will quickly go ahead and add that uh, in the, into the related list and then 
uh, we can just test it what all fields it requires to add opportunity contact role so if you also wanted to add the role into the page layout you just need to go to object manager find opportunity go to the page layout and find the correct page layout where you wanted to add the related list so this related list is already added over here the contact roles what we need to do is as i have added this uh, related list single so i will just go ahead edit my uh, record lightning app builder page and then i will add related list single over there to see the opportunity contact role so i have just added this now you can see here i have got this opportunity contact roles as well just go ahead click on drop down and then you will see add contact roles right and then here it will ask which contact you wanted to add as a role say that i wanted to add this contact and in the next screen it will ask me what is going to be the role okay so the role will be decision maker because as per our scenario it will always be decision maker so that is what we are going to do that this is the contact this is the role and this is the opportunity so that is what we have we have got the contact we have got the opportunity we just need to have the role so we will say here so we just need to select a field called role and here what we will select is we will select decision maker and then once you have prepared this click on done add one more assignment over here and this time you will say that add contact roles to the list and what you do you do here we will find your list variable which is opportunity contact role list and here what you need to do is you need to add the variables so you will say okay you've got this variable you will say here whatever your opportunity contact role is and you have got this you prepared the record you added that to the list now the time is to insert those records so just click on element and you say okay go ahead and create records so what you will do is you will say we need to create multiple records and here we have got record collection which is where opportunity contact role list and what you will say is you will say create opportunity contact role records and just you got this click on done next thing as a part of error handling what you will do is just click on this and then add a fault path and here what you will do is like previous video what we have done is we have created a post to chatter okay and we will say that failed to fail to create opportunity contact role record message is going to be our what message flow is uh, giving us so we will say that fault message and the target id is going to be our opportunity id so we will use record that id and click on done so we are done with our flow our flow is done here we have a start element then we did a query then we have a loop and then preparing and all those things and then just inserting similar to the previous video just with additional uh, in for additional condition at the start element as well as uh, we have got some additional uh, information related to contact roles now save this record uh, save this flow click on save and you just need to have the debug because before debugging uh, like before uh, actually activating this flow we have to debug so just go ahead and debug it uh, we can skip this start condition because we don't uh, need that and for opportunity what we will select is we will select the first one and we have already opened this first opportunity and we will see if this account has contacts or not so this account has two contacts okay so it should give us two contacts under the debug so we'll go ahead and click on run so our flow is completed just go ahead and scroll down bottom here under the create record you see that there are two with two list two records that means our flow is working fine go ahead and activate this now what you have to do is you have to create a new opportunity so as usual we will clone this opportunity and i will name this as three and this time we will make sure that this checkbox contact role needed is checked just go ahead and check this checkbox save it so opportunity teams are also there contact roles are also there okay so that is how you you are going to create opportunity contact roles using a flow now if you wanted to test the negative scenario okay what negative scenario is suppose that you are cloning this opportunity which is number four but you are not checking this checkbox okay so if we are not checking we are only going to have the opportunity team not the contact roles that means our flow is also working fine now there is one more scenario suppose that you are also not using any account for that opportunity and then you are just going to save this 
okay so no matter if you are checking this checkbox or not so if you save this okay there is uh, some validation rule which says that account cannot be uh, left blank so what you can do is you can use this account but what we do is we will delete this contact what we are trying to do here is we are saying okay we have an account but we don't have any contact so what will happen is there any error our flow is going to do or what will happen so we have got this we are checking this checkbox as well click on save so the teams are getting created properly contact roles are not getting created if you go to the activity to make sure that there is no uh, chatter which has been posted by our flow so basically our flow is also working fine so what is happening it says that if you don't have any uh, contact record over here the flow will run it won't find anything it is trying to insert the blank list of records it won't do anything okay so this is it for this video thank you for your time again if you have any scenario you wanted to get that recorded please feel free to send that to the email which is there under the description of this video and also please don't forget to like share subscribe the channel thank you